Welcome. Katati's unusual sounding name comes from the language of the California coast Miwok. Its meaning is a bit of a mystery, but over the last 200 years, it has come to mean a fertile place of hills and plains, creeks and forest, peopled with friendly natives keen on music, dance, good food, and drink. The incorporated city, Sonoma County's smallest, boasts around 7,500 residents, but its influence is felt throughout the central county. The 17,000-acre Rancho Catati was established in 1844 as a land grant by the Mexican government to Captain Juan Castaneda for his military service. It passed through several hands until 1849, when it was purchased by Dr. Thomas Stokes Page, an American expatriate living in Valparaiso, Chile. The parcel remained undeveloped until Dr. Page visited in 1860, after which a sheep, cattle, dairy, hay, and grain ranch was overseen by local managers. In 1869, Dr. Page, his wife Ana Maria, and the youngest of their ten children moved to the San Francisco Bay Area. When Dr. Page died in 1872, his will stipulated that the ranch remain intact until his youngest son reached the age of 25. So in 1892, ranch superintendent and middle son Wilfred Page oversaw the subdivision of larger portions of the ranch into city lots and small farms. In the center of the planned town lay an unusual hexagonal plaza. The six surrounding streets he named for his brothers, Henry, Olaf, Charles, Arthur, George, and William. An avenue further north he named for himself. The girls, Anita, Manuela, and Lizzie, have yet to be so honored Perhaps this will be corrected in this more gender-balanced century. The Pages Katati Land Company continued to farm several thousand acres, providing a good income for the family. The town grew to include dozens of family chicken farms. Many downtown buildings, even today, still reflect their beginnings as farmhouses, general stores, and service firms. In the 1930s, a large part of the ranch was sold to Waldo Rohnert for a seed farm. When the seed farm was in turn sold to become the new city of Rohnert Park, Katati too incorporated as a city. And with the influx of Sonoma State students in the late 60s, Katati assumed a new identity as a counterculture center for music, arts, and just kicking around. Today, unique restaurants, clubs, and community festivals continue to make the small town a colorful and pleasant place to live, work, and play. Here we are in the heart of Katati, La Plaza Park, which was donated by the Page family to the first residents of the city. In 1980, this sculpture, known as Chief Katati, was created by the late Katati counterculture icon Vito Palikas and was meant to evoke the Indian origins of the community. While the Coast Miwok never had chiefs as such, Palikas imagined a tribal elder dancing on the nipple of Mother Earth, which gives life to us all. Other depictions of the fictitious chief can be found on city street signs and in the city council chambers. By 1993, the sculpture's cement composite had begun to disintegrate. A group of Indian artists restored it, added the protective shelter, and a nearby mural depicting Coast Miwok life. A bronze marker was also installed by the Katati City Council, proclaiming 1993 International Year of the World's Indigenous People. The memorials are now surrounded by a sustainably designed garden featuring drought-tolerant plants, water harvesting techniques, and habitat for birds, butterflies, and other beneficial insects. Built in 1932, the Spanish Revival Katati Inn was considered a classy establishment specializing in duck dinners. Sold in the 1950s, it became Sophie's Katati Inn and later Michelle's Restaurant and the Tradewinds Tavern. In 1968, the building became a popular hippie-era cabaret called the Inn of the Beginning, a name legendarily attributed to a drug-induced vision of one of the founders. 
Visiting musicians included Arlo Guthrie, Van Morrison, Joan Baez, Jerry Garcia, and the Grateful Dead, drawing press attention and overflow crowds. Today, the building houses two drinking establishments, Friar Tuck's Pub and Spanky's Bar, as well as the Sandal Lady, a tiny workshop for baseball glove restorer Fran Fleet, whose reputation draws customers nationwide. In 1915, the age of the automobile was underway, and the state of California designated Cotati's Main Street a state highway. The little town became the principal throughway between Petaluma and Santa Rosa, as well as a popular stop for San Franciscans vacationing on the Russian River. Service stations, garages, restaurants, a deer park, and a swimming pool with steam baths appeared between the chicken farms, feed stores, blacksmith, and grocers. Elmer Chadwick owned the signal station in the 1950s. He is seen here knee-deep in the area's usual winter flood. Katati Creek has since been channelized, but the station remains. Once, as Joel's Harmony Garage, it is now Heinz Signs, which sports wooden reminders of the old gas pumps as well as a vintage taxi cab. The building at 8200 Old Redwood Highway has housed a wide variety of businesses over the years. It began life in the mid-1920s as the George E. Moore Garage. Not content with selling and servicing cars, Moore, a former blacksmith, also sold airplanes and arranged flying lessons. In the 1940s, it became a paint factory owned by Harry de Gregory, who later sold it to Bill O'Brien. A huge can of paint and the Empire Paint factory sign graced the roof and could be seen all around town. The landmark sign came down in the 1960s. Since then, the building has also been home to the Katadian newspaper, written, edited, and published by Prue and Lloyd Draper. It is currently Bow and Arrow Clothing, the Trade Winds Tavern, Down to Earth Cafe, and an upstairs apartment a typical Katadi mix of urban uses. One of Katadi's most cherished buildings can be found at 85 La Plaza. It was built in 1910 as the home of the newly organized Ladies Improvement Club. While the land was donated by the Katadi Company, the village's progressive women solicited funds, materials, and labor, took out a loan in their own names, and first raised a simple barn-like community center. There, they held lectures, social events, and developed a small library. After California women won the vote in 1911, the site became the town's polling place and was staffed by its female club members. The town grew so fast and the club became so popular that the women borrowed additional funds to seal the building and add a stylish front hall to include a dining room and club room. They partnered with other organizations to provide a regular schedule of events and community improvements, and after several years of hard work, soon wiped out the new debt. Before too long, Katadians and friends, having worn out the original dance floor, the ladies borrowed more funds and installed a hardwood floor and added a kitchen. The last note was paid off in March 1934 in the midst of the Depression. By the mid-century, locals gathered for weekly American Legion dances, often meeting their partners for life. When exactly the Ladies' Improvement Club became the Women's Club is unclear, probably in the 1960s, as women began to see themselves in a new light. By the 1970s, however, the women's movement led to younger women working outside the home and pursuing careers rather than clubbing and the remaining older ladies elected to sell the building in 1976 and dissolved the club in 1978. From 1978 to 1988, the building was home to the Katadi Cabaret, a descendant of the countercultural Inn of the Beginning. Some Sonoma State students claimed they chose their college because of its proximity to the cabaret, but by the late 80s, the rock scene had changed, and in 1992, the property was sold to the Sonoma Synagogue Center, now known as Congregation Ner Shalom. Today's Korean Baptist Church began life as a Spanish-style Catholic mission in 1908. 
The mission soon became a full-fledged parish with a resident pastor and added a rectory. The compound served an ever-growing community for several decades, its fancy architectural details disappearing over the years. By the 1940s, the community decided to build a significantly larger church, rectory, and parish hall. For nearly two decades, the congregation and the community held huge barbecues to raise funds and promote the Katati business community. At one point, it offered food, fun, and frolic for 5000 The new St. Joseph's Church was ultimately consecrated in 1958 on a nearby hilltop on West Katati Avenue. The early buildings served for many years as a regional Hispanic Catholic center until the two communities combined and the property was sold by the diocese. In the 1920s, inventor Fred Frengel patented a very successful brooder stove for keeping chicks warm while their moms laid new eggs. So successful was he that Frengel built this expanded metal fabrication shop around 1930. The building's facade is noteworthy in that it is metal molded to imitate rough cut stone. If you take a moment to knock gently, you can hear it echo Katati's agricultural past. Centrally located between La Plaza and Olaf Street, it has been home to several businesses over the years, including the iconic Hub Cyclery Bicycle Shop, now relocated to the old Redwood Highway. It was at one time home to Sassy Salon, now down the street. Today it houses Sweet Pea Children's Clothing. We hope you enjoyed this look at a few of Katati's historic places. There will be plenty more stories to share when we conduct our downtown walking tours in the near future. For example, are you confused by the huge orange Rexall drugstore sign west of La Plaza Park where there is no pharmacy to go with it? Do you wonder what happened to the three million feet of lumber from the 1920s Katati Speedway? Hint, some of it is still in town. And did you know there's a Katati Museum at City Hall? Visit KatatiHistoricalSociety.org to learn more. Music